The alien warlords were stunned speechless as a colossal mech the size of a planet emerged from Earth's surface, casting a shadow over their fleet of warships. Inside the mech's control room, former soldier Justin Wilson gripped the controls, his crew of specialists manning their stations around him. Dr. Lena Gupta monitored the mech's advanced systems, Zach Johnson prepped the devastating weapon arrays, and Mira Patel, a Rijin defector, worked to jam the fleet's comms. This was the moment Project Titan had been built for. Driven by a rogue Apex Corporation faction, Titan was humanity's last desperate play to break free from the Rizian's economic stranglehold. Reverse-engineered alien tech and Earth's unique resources had been poured into this audacious endeavor, all leading to this fateful clash. The view screen crackled to life, revealing Rizian warlord Keldrick's enraged face as he demanded Earth surrender. Justin's response was to power up Titan's weapons, an unambiguous declaration of humanity's defiance. Titan surged into the Rizian fleet, its immense form moving with astonishing agility. Zack whooped as the mech's cannons obliterated the nearest warship, alien weapons fire glancing harmlessly off its energy shields. Outside, the battle raged, while inside, Mira raced to sever the fleet's communication links before they could summon reinforcements. This was no longer just a battle. It was an uprising. The shocking revelation of Titan's existence had upended the galactic status quo, and now Justin and his crew held humanity's fate in their hands. The Rizians would never tolerate such defiance from those they considered lesser. But Earth would not kneel, not this time. The future of the human race hung in the balance as Titan carved its path through the alien armada, the opening volley in a war for the ages. As the battle raged on, the crew of Titan fought with unwavering commitment. Inside the mech's control room, Dr. Lena Gupta's eyes widened as she detected a troubling anomaly in the power core readings. The immense energy demands of Titan's weapons and shields were pushing the experimental reactor to its limits. Justin, we need to end this quickly, Lena warned, her voice tense. The power core can't sustain this level of output for much longer. We're risking a catastrophic failure. Zack, adrenaline surging through his veins, disregarded Lena's concerns. His fingers flew over the weapons control panel, pushing the system to its limit. I can take out their flagship, he declared, his eyes locked on the Rizian command ship. With a triumphant shout, Zack unleashed a devastating barrage that slammed into the flagship's hull. The alien vessel erupted in a blinding fireball, its shattered remains plummeting to earth like a meteor. The remaining Rizian ships, their drive shaken by the flagship's destruction, began to retreat, but as they fled they launched a salvo of electromagnetic pulses designed to cripple Titan systems. The pulses slammed into the mech, causing lights to flicker and consoles to spark. Lena raced to maintain power to critical functions, her hands a blur as she worked to reroute energy and bypass damaged circuits. Justin gritted his teeth as he struggled to keep Titan upright the mech swaying under the onslaught. Mira, her face illuminated by the glow of her display, intercepted panic transmissions from the fleeing Rizian ships. They're saying this was just the first wave, Mira reported, her voice grim. A larger invasion force is on its way. As the crew scrambled to assess the damage and plan their next move, a hollow display crackled to life. The imposing figure of Nolan Pierce, CEO of Apex Corporation, materialized before them. Congratulations on your victory, Pierce said, his voice smooth and confident. But the real battle has just begun. He revealed that Apex had been working for years to undermine Rizian control, manipulating events from the shadows. Titan, he explained, was just one part of a larger plan to free Earth from alien domination. But not everyone at Apex shares this vision, Pierce warned. There are factions within the company that have grown rich from the Rizian status quo they will stop at nothing to maintain it. As if on cue, alarms blared throughout the mech. Lena's eyes widened as she studied the readouts. The power core has been sabotaged, she reported, her voice tight with urgency, likely by a Rizian agent within Apex. Lena and Zack rushed to contain the damage, working frantically to stabilize the core. Justin and Mira, meanwhile, pored over data logs and security feeds, searching for any clue to the saboteur's identity. Pierce's voice cut through the chaos, his words heavy with warning. 
The Rizians will not tolerate this affront to their power, he said. They will use every resource at their disposal to crush this rebellion, trust no one, and prepare for a long and covert war. As the transmission ended, Justin looked out over the wreckage of the battlefield, the weight of Pierce's words sinking in. The crew of Titan had won the day, but they now found themselves at the center of a shadowy conflict that threatened to tear apart not just Apex, but the very fabric of human society. With Titan's systems temporarily stabilized, the crew began the long process of repair and preparation. They worked with unyielding commitment, all too aware that the eyes of the world and of their hidden enemies were now firmly fixed upon them. The path ahead was uncertain and fraught with danger, but one thing was clear. The fight for Earth's future had only just begun, and the crew of Titan would be at the forefront of that battle, their actions shaping the destiny of the human race. The acrid smell of burnt circuitry filled the air as Justin and Mira stalked through Titan's corridors, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. Emergency lighting cast long shadows, transforming familiar passages into an alien landscape. Dr. Reeves, Justin muttered, his jaw clenching. I should have seen it. Mira's eyes narrowed as she checked her data pad. His access logs show he was in the engineering bay right before the sabotage. It has to be him. They found Reeves in his lab, hunched over a workstation. The engineer's head snapped up as they entered, his eyes darting between them. Dr. Reeves, Justin said, his voice low and controlled. We need to talk about the power core failure. Reeves' fingers twitched towards a nearby console. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been working on stabilizing the... Mira cut him off. Save it. We know it was you. Reeves' facade crumbled. He lunged for the console, but Justin was faster. The soldier tackled him, sending both men crashing to the floor. Why? Justin demanded, pinning Reeves down. Why sabotage humanity's best chance? Reeves sneered, defiance replacing fear. Best chance? You're going to get us all killed. The Rizians can't be beaten. This, this farce will only bring their full wrath down on Earth. Before Justin could respond, alarms blared throughout the mech. Lena's voice crackled over the comm. Justin, we've got a problem. The sabotage wasn't just about disabling Titan. It broadcasted our location to the Rizian fleet. We've got incoming. Justin hauled Reeves to his feet, shoving him towards the door. Move. You're going to help us fix this mess. As they marched Reeves to the command center, the mech shuddered. Through the viewports, they could see the first volley of Rizian weapons fire, streaking towards Earth. Lena's fingers flew over her console, rerouting power to critical systems. Shields at 40% and climbing. But our weapons are still offline. Zack swore, pounding his fist on his unresponsive weapons panel. We're sitting ducks here. Justin shoved Reeves towards an empty station. Fix it, now? Reeves hesitated, his eyes darting between the crew and the approaching Rizian fleet. I... I can't. It's too late. Mira grabbed him by the collar, her voice a low growl. It's never too late. You did this. Now undo it. As Reeves reluctantly began working, Justin turned to the view screen. The Rizian ships loomed ever larger, their weapons charging for another salvo. Lena, status on the shields? 65% in holding, but we can't take much more of this. Justin's mind raced, weighing their options. They couldn't fight, couldn't run, but maybe... Mira, can you get a channel to the Rizian command ship? She nodded, her fingers flying over her console. Channel open. Justin took a deep breath, squaring his shoulders as he faced the view screen. The scarred visage of a Rizian commander appeared, mandibles clicking in anticipation. Rizian vessel, Justin began, his voice steady despite the fear churning in his gut. This is Justin Wilson of Earth's Defense Force. We request an immediate cessation of hostilities to discuss terms. The Rizian's eyes narrowed. Terms? You dare to speak of terms after this abomination you've created? Behind Justin, Reeves worked feverishly at his console, sweat beating on his brow. Lena monitored the mech's systems, ready to divert power at a moment's notice. Zack's hand hovered over the weapons controls, praying for them to come back online. 
The fate of Earth hung in the balance as Justin faced down the Rijin commander, searching for words that might forestall annihilation. The Rijin commander's eyes narrowed to slits. Your request is denied, human. Prepare for... A violent tremor cut off his words as a fresh barrage of Rizian fire slammed into Titan. Justin stumbled, gripping the console to keep his footing. Shields at 30% and falling, Lena shouted over the din of klaxons and groaning metal. Justin's mind focused. Diplomacy had failed. Zack, weapons? Still offline, Zack growled, furiously working his controls. Through the view screen, Justin watched in mounting dread as a new wave of Rizian warships entered orbit, their weapons already charging. He knew they couldn't withstand such an assault for long. All power to forward shields, he ordered. We're going in. Lena's eyes widened. Justin, the reactor! I know, but we're dead if we stay here. He gripped the controls, feeling tight and respond to his commands. Let's bring the fight to them. With a ground-shaking lurch, the colossal mech surged forward. Each thunderous step sent tremors through the landscape below. The Rizian ships loomed larger in the view screen, their initial volley slamming into Titan's reinforced frontal armor. Zack, target that lead destroyer the moment weapons are back online, Justin commanded. As if on cue, Zack's console flared to life. A feral grin spread across his face as his fingers danced over the controls. Firing solution locked. Eat this, you alien bastards! A devastating barrage erupted from Titan's weapon arrays. High-yield slugs punched through the destroyer's weakened shields, tearing into its hull. Moments later, the Rizian vessel erupted in a spectacular fireball. Direct hit! Zack whooped. But their triumph was short-lived. Mira's voice cut through the celebration, tight with urgency. Multiple contacts incoming. Fast movers on an attack vector. Justin's blood ran cold as he recognized the formation. It's Keldrick. The Rizian warlord's fighters streaked towards them, their missile bays laden with ordnance. Lena's face paled as she studied her readouts. Justin, those aren't standard weapons. They're designed for deep penetration. If they hit... The power tap, Justin finished, realization dawning. Zack, Mira, take them out. A frenzied battle erupted as Titan's auto defenses engaged the incoming swarm. One by one, Rizian fighters exploded in brief, fiery blooms. But a handful slipped through, screaming towards the exposed geothermal shaft that was Titan's lifeline. Justin's mind raced. There was no time to bring the mech's main weapons to bear. With a silent prayer, he threw Titan into a desperate maneuver, twisting its massive bulk to shield the vulnerable power line. The impact was devastating. Alien ordnance tore into Titan's flank, the explosions reverberating through the control room. Consoles sparked and emergency lighting flickered as system after system reported damage. Hull breach in sectors 7 through 12, Lena shouted over the cacophony of alarms. Losing power to starboard weapons. Justin gritted his teeth, fighting to keep Titan upright as more Rizian fire pounded their exposed side. Zack, suppress those fighters! Lena, get repair crews down there now. But the Rizians pressed their advantage relentlessly, concentrating fire on Titan's weakened defenses. With each impact, Justin could feel the great mech's strength ebbing away. A cold certainty settled in his gut. There was only one option left. Lena, he said, his voice grim, cut the tap. Her eyes widened in shock. But Justin, without the geothermal feed... I know, do it. With trembling hands, Lena input the commands. Deep within the earth, explosive bolts fired, severing Titan's connection to its primary power source. The mech shuddered, systems flickering as it switched to its onboard reactor. Reactor at 60% and falling, Lena reported, her voice tight. We're on borrowed time now. As if to punctuate her words, Mira's console lit up with a flurry of activity. New transmissions intercepted, she announced. The Rizians are regrouping. They're launching everything they have for one final push. Justin looked around at his battered crew, seeing the fear and perseverance in their eyes. They all knew the gravity of their situation. With the geothermal tap cut, their only hope lay in a victory or oblivion. All right, Justin said, squaring his shoulders. 
This is it. One last stand. Zack, I want every weapon we have primed and ready. Mira, find me a weakness in their formation. Lena, keep us running as long as you can. As the crew scrambled to their task, Justin turned his gaze to the approaching Rizian Armada. The final battle for Earth's future was about to begin. The sky erupted in a kaleidoscope of fire as the Rizian fleet unleashed its full might. Titan shuddered under the onslaught, its shields flickering like a guttering flame. Reactor at 40% and dropping fast, Lena shouted, her fingers dancing across her console, rerouting all non-essential power to shields. Justin gritted his teeth, feeling every impact reverberate through Titan's frame. Hold steady. We just need to get close enough to... A proximity alarm blared, cutting him off. Mira's eyes widened as she studied her readouts. New contacts, Apex security teams, closing fast. Damn it, Justin growled. Zack, can you... On it, Zack's hands flew over his weapons controls, targeting the incoming corporate ships. But we can't fight a war on two fronts forever, boss. Justin's mind raced. They were outgunned and running out of time. Then an idea struck. Desperate, but their only shot. Lena, begin weapons overload sequence, he ordered. We're going to trigger a plasma detonation. Lena's face paled. That could take out half the fleet, but... But it'll fry us, too, Justin finished. I know. Do it. As Lena initiated the sequence, Mira worked feverishly to mask their energy spike. Outside, Apex strike teams attempted to latch on to Titan's hull, only to be repelled by pinpoint defensive fire. The reactor countdown ticked away. 30 seconds. 20. 10. Suddenly, every screen in the command center lit up with a familiar face. Nolan Pierce, CEO of Apex Corporation. Well done, Titan crew. Pierce's honeyed voice dripped with condescension. You've played your parts to perfection. Justin's blood ran cold. What are you talking about? Pierce's smile widened. This entire conflict, the Rizians, Titan, all of it, was orchestrated to consolidate Apex's power. And now it's time for your final act. With a simple gesture, Pierce activated hidden protocols. Titan systems locked down, leaving them dead in space. No! Justin thumped his hand on the useless controls. Override! Authorization Wilson Alpha 70! Nothing happened. Then a familiar voice spoke from behind them. I'm afraid that won't work, Justin. They turned to see Dr. Reeves step out of the shadows, no longer the meek saboteur, but standing tall with a triumphant gleam in his eye. You, Mira hissed, you were working with Pierce all along. Reeves nodded. Someone had to ensure humanity's survival, even if it meant compromises. Outside, the Rizian fleet closed in. Inside, the crew of Titans stood frozen, the weight of betrayal hanging heavy in the air. Their gazes turned to Justin, the idealistic soldier whose actions had unknowingly brought them to this point. His mind raced, searching for a solution. The termination codes, the approaching fleet, the dwindling reactor. Each problem alone seemed insurmountable. Together, they were a death sentence. But as Justin looked at his crew, at Lena's commitment, Zack's hardly restrained fury, Mira's analytical focus, he knew he couldn't give up. Not when Earth's future hung in the balance. Lena, he said, his voice low and urgent. How much control do we still have over Titan systems? She glanced at her readouts. Minimal. Life support, some internal functions. But nothing that could... What about the reactor overload? Justin pressed. Is that still in play? Lena's eyes widened as she caught on. Yes, but without weapons control, we can't... We don't need weapons, Justin cut her off. We just need to get close enough. Understanding dawned on the faces of his crew. It was a suicide run, plain and simple, but it was also their only chance. As if sensing the shift in the room, Pierce's hologram flickered back to life. Whatever you're planning, it won't work, he said, his smug demeanor cracking slightly. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. Justin ignored him, turning to his team. This is it, our last stand. Are you with me? The question hung in the air heavy with implications. They all knew what was being asked and what it would cost. Justin met the eyes of his crew, 
their grit mirroring his own. We're with you, Zack growled, his hand tightening on the weapons console. But before they could act, the command center door hissed open. Liz Ortega, Titan's chief of security, strode in flanked by a squad of armed guards. Stand down, Wilson, she ordered, her voice cold. It's over. Justin's mind raced, calculating angles and options. Liz, you don't understand what's at stake here. I understand perfectly, she replied, raising her weapon. Pierce is offering stability, a chance to end this war. You're proposing suicide. The tension in the room crackled like electricity. Justin saw Zack's hand inch towards his sidearm, saw Lena's eyes dart between consoles, seeking an advantage. Last chance, Liz warned. Surrender Titan or... A blur of motion cut her off as Mira lunged, tackling Justin to the ground. The air filled with the staccato crack of weapons fire. Justin felt Mira's body jerk, heard her gasp of pain. No, he shouted, but his voice was lost in the chaos that erupted. Zack sprang into action, his reflexes honed by years of combat. His first shot caught Liz's lead guard in the chest, sending him sprawling. With lightning speed, he targeted the others, forcing them to scramble for cover. Justin dragged Mira behind a console, his hands coming away slick with her blood. Stay with me, he urged, pressing down on the wound. Lena's voice cut through the firefight. Justin, I've got a window. Pierce's lockout is fluctuating. He hesitated, torn between tending to Mira and seizing their only chance. Her eyes met his, filled with pain but unwavering. Go, she whispered. Justin vaulted over the console, bullets whizzing past his head. He slammed into the main control panel, fingers flying over the interface. Alarms blared as he bypassed failsafe after failsafe, initiating Titan's terminal overload sequence. The massive mech shuddered beneath them as its reactor core began to destabilize. Through the view screen, Justin watched the Rizian flagship grow larger, their target drawing near. You fool, Liz shouted, her face contorted with rage. You'll kill us all! But her words were cut short as Zack's final barrage forced her and her remaining loyalists to retreat, the command center door sealing shut behind them. For a moment, silence reigned. Then Reeves's voice crackled over the comms, dripping with malice. Not so fast, Wilson. Titan lurched, nearly sending them all sprawling. Lina's eyes widened in horror as she scanned her readouts. He's sabotaging the core systems. The overload is stalling. Justin gritted his teeth. Can you counter it? Lena's fingers danced across her console, her brow furrowed in concentration. I'm trying, but he keeps... A shower of sparks erupted from a nearby panel, cutting her off. Outside, the Rizian fleet seemed to sense their vulnerability. A torrent of weapons fire slammed into Titan, its weakened shields flickering under the assault. Warning klaxons screamed as system after system reported critical damage. Shields failing, Zack shouted over the din. We can't take much more of this. Justin stared at the alien armada, their formation parting to reveal the massive bulk of the Rizian flagship. They were so close, but with Reeves's sabotage and the relentless enemy fire, it seemed impossible to reach. He made his decision in a heartbeat. Lena, Zack, get Mira to an escape pod. I'll handle Reeves. But sir, Zack began to protest. That's an order, Justin cut him off. Someone has to guide Titan in. Might as well be me. As his crew reluctantly complied, Justin turned his full attention to countering Reeves' efforts. It was a battle of wits and programming skill, with the fate of Earth hanging in the balance. For every system Justin brought back online, Reeves found a new way to disrupt it. Titan shuddered and groaned around him, pushed to its limits. Through the view screen, Justin watched as the Rizian flagship loomed ever larger. They were almost in range, but the reactor was destabilizing faster than he could control. A new alarm blared, more urgent than the others. The reactor had reached critical mass. In moments, it would detonate, with or without his input. Justin's hands flew over the controls, no longer trying to contain the overload, but to ensure it struck where it would do the most damage. As he worked, a message flashed across his screen, a final transmission from Mira's escape pod. He read it, his eyes widening in shock at the revelation of her true identity 
and the larger scope of this conflict, but there was no time to process it now. With a final decisive command, Justin locked in Titan's trajectory. The massive mech surged forward, its systems failing even as it hurtled towards its target. As the Risen flagship filled his view, Justin closed his eyes. He thought of Earth, of the countless lives depending on this moment, of the crew who had stood by him to the end. Then in a blinding flash of light and energy, Titan detonated. The antimatter explosion ripped through space, engulfing Titan and the Rizian flagship in a blinding flash of energy. The shockwave rippled outward, tearing through dozens of warships easily. In the aftermath, silence reigned over the debris field. Mira's eyes fluttered open, her vision blurry as she took in the cramped confines of the escape pod. Pain lanced through her side where the bullet had struck. She gritted her teeth, forcing herself to focus on the console before her. This is Mira, she rasped into the comm. Titan, Titan is gone. Justin... Her voice caught, but she pressed on. Justin didn't make it. Static crackled, then Zack's voice came through, tight with emotion. Copy that. We're regrouping at coordinates Alpha 9. But Mira, we've got a problem. Pierce escaped during the chaos. Mira's fist clenched. Then we're not done yet. She paused, weighing their options. Set course for Alcatraz. It's time we leveled the playing field. As Mira's pod limped towards the rendezvous point, Pierce's shuttle streaked away from the battle zone. Inside, the Apex CEO nursed a bloodied lip, his eyes burning with cold fury. Initiate Protocol Omega, he barked into his secure comm. I want every deep cover asset activated. It's time we showed these insects the true meaning of corporate power. On Luna, long dormant sleeper agents sprang into action. Within hours, Apex's shipyards fell under Pierce's control. Assembly lines hummed to life churning out vessels of war. Meanwhile, Mira's ragtag group of survivors approached Alcatraz Station. The massive structure loomed before them, its true purpose hidden from prying eyes. There, Lena pointed to a lone figure in an airlock. That must be our contact. They docked, cycling through decontamination before meeting the technician. Franz Kowalski's eyes darted nervously as he led them deeper into the station. We don't have much time, he muttered. Pierce's forces could be here any minute, but I've got something that might give us an edge. The group rounded a corner, and there it stood, sleek, angular, and unlike any mech they'd seen before. Say hello to Obsidian, Kowalski announced with a hint of pride. Our latest stealth prototype. She's not as big as Titan, but what she lacks in size, she makes up for in maneuverability and stealth capabilities. Zack whistled low. This could work. We might actually have a shot at... Alarms blared, cutting him off. Kowalski's face drained of color. They're here! Pierce's reinforcements. We need to move. Now! The crew scrambled into Obsidian's cockpit, Mira taking the lead despite her injury. As the mech powered up, Kowalski's demeanor shifted. A cruel smile spread across his face. Sorry, folks, he sneered, tapping commands into a hidden console but I'm afraid this is where we part ways. Systems flickered and died throughout Obsidian. Kowalski turned to flee, but Zack was faster. He tackled the traitor, pinning him against the wall. Fix it, Zack snarled. Now! Kowalski laughed. You don't get it, do you? It's over. Pierce has won. Outside, the sounds of battle grew closer. Mira's mind raced, weighing impossible options. Then her gaze fell on a neural interface port. I can fix this, she said, her voice steady, but there's no coming back. Before anyone could stop her, Mira jacked in. Her consciousness expanded, merging with Obsidian systems. For a moment, blinding pain threatened to overwhelm her. Then clarity. Obsidian roared to life, blast doors exploding outward as the mech rocketed into space. They'd barely cleared Alcatraz when Kowalski activated his final failsafe. Mira screamed as her connection to reality severed. Her body slumped in the pilot's chair, unresponsive. Inside Obsidian's virtual matrix, her mind tumbled through an ocean of data. The mech drifted, powerless, as Pierce's ships closed in. His face appeared on their view screens, triumph etched in every line. I must admit, you've been amusing opponents, he gloated. 
But playtime is over. Surrender now, and I might even let you watch as I delete your friend's consciousness, bit by bit. Justin and Zack exchanged grim looks. Obsidian represented their last hope, but reactivating it could destroy Mira forever. The choice before them was impossible, yet the fate of humanity hung in the balance. Zack's hand hovered over the neural link, trembling slightly. What do we do, boss? Justin stared out at the approaching Apex Armada, his eyebrows furrowed. He took a deep breath, knowing that whatever they decided, there would be no going back. Justin's hand clenched into a fist as he stared at the neural link. The choice before him was impossible, yet the fate of humanity hung in the balance. He reached for the interface, but before he could make contact, alarms blared throughout Obsidian's cockpit. Multiple hostiles incoming, Zack shouted, his fingers flying over the tactical display. It's Pierce's fleet. They found us. A barrage of weapons fire slammed into Obsidian, sending tremors through the mech's frame. The view screen lit up with dozens of enemy signatures, surrounding them in a deadly net. Shields critical, Lena reported, her voice tight with tension. We can't take much more of this. As if in response to her words, a final volley overwhelmed Obsidian's defenses. The cockpit went dark, emergency lighting casting an eerie red glow over the crew's faces. Outside, tractor beams locked onto the mech's hull, pulling them inexorably towards the looming bulk of Pierce's flagship. Minutes later, Justin and Zack found themselves in the sterile white interrogation room of Pierce's vessel. The CEO's holographic image flickered to life before them, his smirk dripping with smug satisfaction. I must admit you've been entertaining opponents, Pierce drawled, but playtime is over. Your little rebellion ends here. Justin met Pierce's gaze, defiance burning in his eyes. You haven't won yet. The people of Earth will never submit to your control. Pierce's laughter echoed through the room. Oh, but they will. Through economic oppression and carefully crafted propaganda, they'll become the perfect labor force for our Rizian allies. Those who resist, well, let's just say there are more permanent solutions. The hologram flickered, replaced by images of Earth. Cities transformed into corporate hives, endless rows of workers toiling under the watchful eyes of Apex drones. Justin's stomach churned at the sight. A commotion outside drew their attention. The door slid open, revealing a battered and bloodied Franz Kowalski. The technician stumbled into the room, his eyes wild with desperation. I can't do this anymore, Kowalski gasped. He fumbled with a data chip, pressing it into Justin's hand. These codes... They'll reactivate Obsidian's higher functions. But you have to know, using them will... Sever Mira's neural link, Justin finished, his voice hollow. Killing her. Kowalski nodded grimly. I'm sorry. I never meant for things to go this far. Alarms blared throughout the ship. Pierce's hologram reappeared, his face contorted with rage. Kowalski, you treacherous worm! I'll see you spaced for this! Justin's mind raced, weighing the impossible choice before him. Mira's life against the fate of humanity. He closed his eyes, feeling the weight of the decision crushing down on him. Suddenly, Obsidian's communication system crackled to life. Mira's voice, distorted and faint, echoed through the room. Justin, Zack, I can feel myself slipping away, she said, her words interspersed with static. Don't let my sacrifice be in vain. Save Earth. Save our people. With a heavy heart, Justin activated the codes. On the monitor, Obsidian's systems flared to life. Its stealth field engaged a split second before Pierce's ships opened fire, their shots passing harmlessly through empty space. No! Pierce roared. Find that mech! Destroy it! But it was too late. Obsidian, pilotless yet responsive, unleashed a devastating barrage against Pierce's fleet. Explosions blossomed in the void of space as ship after ship fell to the mech's superior weaponry. In the chaos, Kowalski guided Justin and Zack to an escape pod. Go! he shouted over the din of battle. I'll hold them off! The pod rocketed away from Pierce's flagship just as Kowalski detonated hidden explosives, creating a firestorm that consumed the ship's bridge. As they streaked through space, Justin and Zack found themselves at the controls of Obsidian, piloting the mech remotely. 
the stealth prototype responded to their commands with deadly precision, carving a path of destruction through the corporate armada. We need to regroup, Zack said, scanning long-range sensors. The lunar shipyards. If we can take control of those facilities... Justin nodded, his mind focused. We'll need allies. There have to be others out there resisting Pierce's control. And the Rizian royal elite, those opposed to this subjugation. They could be powerful allies against both Pierce and the invading forces. As Obsidian blazed a trail towards Luna, Justin allowed himself a moment of grief for Mira. Her sacrifice would not be in vain. They would break the chains of corporate dominance, despite the toll. The lunar shipyards loomed before them, a sprawling complex of assembly lines and launch platforms. Hidden in the shadows of a nearby crater, Justin and Zack prepared for their next move. The final stand for Earth's freedom was about to begin. Justin's fingers flew across Obsidian's control panel, guiding the stealth mech through the labyrinth of lunar structures. Zack monitored the sensors, his eyes darting between readouts. We've got a problem, Zack said, his voice tight. Pierce's shipyards are pumping out warships faster than we anticipated. If we don't act soon, Earth won't stand a chance. Justin nodded grimly. Then we stick to the plan. Obsidian stealth systems are our ace in the hole. We infiltrate, gather intel, and expose Pierce's true agenda to the Rizians. They maneuvered Obsidian into a shadowed crevice near the main shipyard complex. As they prepared to disembark, a proximity alert flashed on the screen. Rizian patrol, Zack whispered. Two o'clock. They held their breath as the alien craft glided past its sensors sweeping harmlessly over Obsidian's cloaked form. Once clear, Justin and Zack slipped out, activating their personal stealth fields. Inside the sprawling facility, they moved like ghosts. Justin hacked into a nearby terminal, his eyes widening as classified files scrolled across the screen. My God, he breathed. Pierce isn't just building ships. He's constructing an entire fleet designed to subjugate Earth, and the Rizians have no idea. Zack's mind focused. We need to get this data to Keldrick's faction. It's our only shot at turning the tide. A sudden commotion echoed through the corridors. Alarms blared as Pierce's voice rang out over the facility-wide comms. Attention all personnel. Intruders detected in Sector 7. Initiate lockdown procedures immediately. Justin cursed under his breath. We're out of time. Transmit what we have and let's move. They sprinted through the complex, dodging patrols and narrowly avoiding detection. As they neared Obsidian's hiding spot, the ground beneath their feet trembled. What was that? Zack asked, steadying himself against a wall. Justin's eyes widened in realization. Pierce is activating the self-destruct protocols. He's going to destroy the entire shipyard rather than let it fall into rebel hands. They scrambled into Obsidian's cockpit, powering up the mech as explosions rocked the lunar surface. Justin's hands danced across the controls, pushing the stealth systems to their limits as they navigated through the chaos. We need to abort those detonation codes, Zack said, scanning the tactical display. There, the main control hub. If we can reach it in time... Justin nodded, setting a course. Obsidian weaved through debris and weapons fire, its stealth field flickering under the strain. They crashed through the hub's outer defenses, the mech systems sputtering as they touched down. Go! Justin shouted, unstrapping himself. I'll hold them off here. You get to the central computer and stop this madness. Zack hesitated for a split second, then nodded grimly. He sprinted from the cockpit, disappearing into the smoky corridors of the failing facility. Justin turned his attention to the approaching corporate enforcers, Obsidian's remaining weapon systems primed and ready. As the first wave attacked, he allowed himself a grim smile. The real battle was only just beginning. Beginning. Justin's fingers tightened on Obsidian's controls as corporate enforcers swarmed towards him. The mech's weapon systems whirred to life, targeting the oncoming threat. Explosions rocked the facility as Justin unleashed a barrage of covering fire. Through the smoke and chaos, he caught glimpses of Zack sprinting towards the central computer. Time seemed to slow as Justin fought to buy his friend those precious seconds. A deafening roar filled the air as Pierce's voice boomed over the facility speakers. You think you can stop me? I am the future of humanity. 
Justin gritted his teeth, focusing on the battle at hand. Obsidian systems flashed warnings as enemy fire peppered its hull. He knew the mech couldn't take much more punishment. Suddenly an alarm blared. Justin's eyes widened as he saw a massive energy signature approaching on the tactical display. Zack! he shouted into the comm. We've got incoming! The lunar surface shuddered as a colossal vessel emerged from behind the horizon. Its hull gleamed with an otherworldly sheen, jam-packed with weaponry beyond anything Justin had ever seen. Behold the oblivion! Pierce's voice rang out, filled with maniacal glee. The instrument of your destruction. Justin's mind raced. They needed to evacuate now, but as he prepared to disengage, a familiar presence touched his consciousness. Justin, Mira's voice distorted and faint, echoed through Obsidian Systems. I'm still here. I can help. Before Justin could respond, the Oblivion's main cannon swiveled towards them. Energy crackled along its length as it prepared to fire. In that moment, everything changed. Oblivion's lights flickered, its weapons powering down. Pierce's enraged screams cut off mid-sentence as the dreadnought systems went dark. What's happening? Zack's voice crackled over the comm as he rejoined Justin in Obsidian's cockpit. Justin's eyes were fixed on the readings before him. It's Mira. She's infiltrated Oblivion systems. They watched in awe as the massive ship listed to one side, explosions blossoming across its hull. On their tactical display, they could see the rebel fleet regrouping, seizing the opportunity presented by this unexpected turn of events. We need to move, Justin said, his voice tight with urgency. This is our chance to end this. As Obsidian powered up for one final push, Justin's thoughts turned to Mira. He knew the price she was paying for this victory, and his heart ached with the weight of it. The battle was not nearly finished, but for the first time since this conflict began, hope flickered in Justin's chest. They had a fighting chance, and he was determined to make it count. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.